begin our night with new details on this fire that required multiple departments to get involved to fight the flames. As of 8.30 tonight, the fire at Metallico Youngstown Incorporated in Girard is under control. I want you to take a look at your screen and you'll see videos from around 3.30 this afternoon. Now the fire started around 3. Our news director was driving on 680 when he noticed the heavy smoke that was filling the sky. The smoke plume could be seen for miles around the valley. Departments from five counties were eventually called to try to contain this fire. First news reporter Desiree Gosselin was on scene for about, what, five hours today? Yeah, close to five hours. I got there shortly after 3 o'clock and left around 8.30. And that fire, Megan, it was massive. You can see it in this smoke, but plumes filled the sky. They could be seen for miles around the valley. I saw it on the drive to Girard from Boardman all the way on South Avenue. And those flames, once I got there, they probably reached at least 20 feet high in so at some points, and the height of that smoke plume rivaled a skyscraper. I couldn't even tell how tall it was. That's insane. Several wow. stories high. Now, luckily, we were told that no one at the scrapyard was seriously hurt, but one firefighter was transported for a medical issue. We were on Officer Leo Bridge, and we saw the huge black smoke, and we saw a little bit of the flame. Miles of black smoke billowing into the sky. Puffy, and it was... It just was very scary looking. We arrived on scene, there was a large pile of uh, scrap cars on fire. And uh, because of the wind we were experiencing, it was a fast moving fire. Uh, so we immediately called for additional agencies. Trumbull, Mahoning, Portage, Geauga, and Ashtabula County fire departments answered that call. This is an independent water supply down here, so it didn't have the water we needed for the incident, uh, which then led to uh, calling tanker shuttles for water from uh, multiple counties. We're told departments had to use more than one million gallons of water to put out this fire. Pulling a lot of water and we're draining the water system. So just setting up different fill sites so we could, uh, you know, supply the trucks we have here. It's still unclear how this fire started. This site will need to be monitored for pollution and contamination. Mahoning County has hazardous material was called to the scene to contain an undisclosed contaminant. The fire chief indicated it could be something to do with heavy metals. The Mahoning River is very close to that fire. I'm told it's just on the other side of that facility. The EPA is also going to be monitoring that site. Major concerns are water, ground, and air pollution. Reporting live in the studio, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.